This is Toss Talk, where it's all about yard games, having fun, and what it takes to create social entertainment. With your host and creator, Kelvin, on Toss Tunes Radio. Hey, what is up? And welcome back to another episode of Toss Talk. And today we are talking about glow golf. Yes, golf at night. Glow in the dark golf balls. That's what you need in this life. <laughs> oh, my man Bobby down in Florida has created a one of a kind product that is just very innovative because he is also trying to make your games glow as well. Yes, not only does he make glow in the dark golf balls, but he is on a mission to make your yard game glow in the dark. So hit him up. But hey, let's get to this episode and see what he is all about because this guy has a lot going on and one of my favorite chats that I've had in a while. So let's get into this. Hello, Calvin. Hey, what's going on, man? How are you doing? Living the dream, babe. Living the dream. I hear <laughs> that, man. Everything yeah. good down there? Uh, it's ridiculously good. That's why I was excited about uh, telling people about what's going on with me. Uh, yeah, it's all good. How are things by you? Uh, things are good, man. We're, we're opening back up a little bit and um, just trying to get back to normal life, I guess. Now, what's your real job? Uh, I work for the city of Virginia Beach doing business taxes. That's right. Yeah. That's Fun good. stuff. City of Virginia <laughs> yep, yep. That's yeah. right. I remember now. I know. I was a Richmond guy. I was a Richmond guy, so I know Virginia I, Beach real well. Nice, nice. Um, well, before we get into all the exciting news we have for you, because um, I'm sure you're you're stoked about it. Uh, let's uh get into a little bit of your background story, like who's all in the business with you, and uh, where you're based out of for the listeners. Um, <clears throat> well, the background story. Speaking of Richmond, Virginia. Um, I have uh, basically been in the consumer electronics business all my life. Uh, Richmond, Virginia was the corporate headquarters of Circuit City Stores, which was a rather dominant consumer electronics retailer in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, <clears throat> I was in retail, then I went into distribution, and bada ba. Let's fast forward to 2018, uh, the summer of 2018. The company, the distributor I was working for, uh, I was their Florida division. They were based in Oklahoma. They decided to close the Florida office. Okay. So in uh, so at that point, I was you know let's start doing the job hunt again, um, or uh, you know, and I did that for a little bit. And then in January 2019, um, I've had this idea for this night golf business for a while. Uh, I've had a side gig uh, with a eco-friendly business that I started in Arizona called Four Glow Golf. So I've had that business for 10 years as a side gig, but again, went back into the CE industry and blah, blah, blah. So in January 2019, I said, you know what? I'm going to go full entrepreneur. I've never done it. I've always worked for someone, been a you know, VP, uh, VP of marketing. I've handled distribution. I've handled retail stores. I said, I'm going to go full entrepreneur and I'm going to put a logo together, put this night golf business together, you know, kind of uh, test it out there for 45, 60 days, see if it gets any legs and I'll go from there. Oh, cool. Well, <clears throat> uh, fast forward through 2019, it, uh, it, it got legs quickly. Everybody said, you know, if you build it, they will come. So through 2019, it was all uh, developing my lighting system and prototyping the power. My concept is a portable night golf event. So I can go to any golf course or anybody's backyard <laughs> and nice. light, up, uh, light up an event. Um, um, what I've done over the year, uh, not only prototyping the lights and figuring out power and how long lights will last on a 20,000 milliamp power supply versus this and these lights. So now I'm sitting on about 800,000 milliamps of power 
uh, tons of LED lights. So <clears throat> I can light up a golf course. I can light up a backyard. I can light up whatever. So I had my prototype event and I had my launch January 2020. Everybody loved it. Nice. And boom, we're going to we're going to start. And then need I say more? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, How did that all go? Did it go over very well? Oh, the event went great. Uh, my prototype event went great. I had some people there who were like, okay, Bob, let's, you know, let's get together. I'd like to do this, you know, sometime during the season. <clears throat> I live in Florida. So, you know, I launched in January, February, March, April. I was going to get things going. But, of course, uh, everything shut down. Damn. So <clears throat> at first, um, you know, like everybody, oh, okay, this will be done in the summer. So I just kind of <clears throat> sat back, got a little bit of government help, a little EIDL money, you know, keep the lights on. Yeah, yeah. And then it was ob- and then it was obvious this wasn't going to stop anytime soon. So that's when I got into the online backyard game business. <laughs> okay. Came across my stuff. I see that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> came across your stuff. My first relationship was with Chip Down. Yes, yes. That was a good so, game. So that's a great game. So... Um, I, I basically contacted him and said, Hey, I want to buy 50 of your games and then I'm going to light them up. <laughs> so that's what I did is, so I, I don't manufacture games. I don't want to get into the manufacturing business. I There's too ya. many cool things out there. I hear what I want to do is take your game and light it up for the backyard for a nighttime event. So, so that's what I'm doing is I've just recently sourced a, um, uh, uh, it's like a mini, um, oh my God, the bag toss, uh, uh, uh cornhole or di- cornhole, some different, thank yeah. You. Cornhole. <laughs> yeah, no cornhole, no, no, no cornhole, but it's like a mini cornhole. And then I've got these different games and I'm going to light them up. And I don't know if you've been on my website, uh, which is for glow Uh, I've got some games on there and I'm working with, uh, all, I'm, I'm basically, trying to become a niche ga- a distributor for games, events, accessories. Yeah, yes. and I just, then making them all glow. <laughs> and then making it all a night thing, which is my background over the last 10 years, which is really just fundamentally purchasing, distri- distribution, logistics, pick, pack, and ship. Um, and just it's all about moving boxes. I just want to move fun stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I've got this other thing, which is, hey, I can come to you and create a really cool event. And that that's awesome. And that's what I'm doing. So all the exciting news is Florida went into phase three opening October one. Okay. And during the pandemic, what I did is worked on my store website, all my logistics. I've got full pick back and ship. I got a Shopify store. I got all the commerce. I got, so the good news is with, with the, uh, I call it COVID hibernation, <laughs> yeah. is, is it, it gave you time to take a breath, really look at this new business, don't rush things, you know, and just um, put it all together. Lo and behold, I had my Google My Business, I had my website rocking, I had all my websites rocking, the store, the this, the that. And I just recently got contacted by a very high end, uh, golf course, private golf course, tennis community, and they just hired me for three events. Nice, congratulations! So, That's awesome. Thank you very much. It's huge. It's huge. So, boom! Now all of a sudden, and it's their big event that I'm working out of my garage in a, in a storage unit. So, <laughs> gotta start somewhere, and, right? <laughs> so, you got to start somewhere. But with this thing, I was like, oh my god, I need space, and so. You know, by the grace of God, a, a, a little, a nice little uh, uh, office warehouse thing opened up, and they're fixing that up. I'm going to move into that in the next week or so. I got this event I'm prepping for, and uh, moving into a new facility for warehouse. You know, Dang. so I got a lot going you on, but it's all on. positive. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm po- I'm stoked yeah. for you, and um, I'm definitely glad you took the time just to talk with me and chat about everything you have going on. But um, a little bit about more of the product, can you share a little bit more exactly how you make things light up? Or is that kind of a guarded secret? Or No, no, no. There's uh, Right now, I'm doing it at retail. 
basically. Okay. I source, it's me and Amazon. I source the power supplies from Amazon, um, and I've got anywhere from a 5,000 milliamp that I could plug to a sign, and then I plug in, uh, er, you, you, everybody has seen those six-foot uh, LED strips yeah. that you put on the back of the TV. Uh-huh. Well, I just take those, wrap them around a stick, take heat shrink, shrink wrap it, and boom, plug it into a power supply, and I got a blinky thing that I can put on a stick, and boom, it's lit up. Nice. Um, the games, the games that I have on my website, again, Chip Down, which is just a very cool game that people have to play. I have these light sticks. I have a power supply with I call it my magic cube, <laughs> which is basically picture a little disco ball. Yes. That 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 reacts to noise. So. You put this thing in there, and as people are talking, and the thing's blinking, and it's all about, you know, it's not necessarily to help the game. <laughs> it's really just to make the to make it look more fun. Yeah. And um, then how so does have, the actual golf ball light up? Well, I have a variety of golf balls. Um, I use there's a, a manufacturer called uh, um, uh, uh, Night Flyer, uh, okay. and it's. Uh, yeah, their ball is the CL Night Flyer, which is the best LED ball because, A, the guy really developed the coating so that it kind of hits like a golf ball, uh, maybe about 10, 15 yards shorter. Okay. Sounds a little more like a rock because <laughs> it's hollow with a light in it and a battery. You know, it's, you know, a golf ball is made with a rubber core and all this. Yes. So... Um, but the cool thing is when you hit it, it lights up for nine minutes. Wow. That's, that's a long time. And then it's a long time. And then when you hit it again, the clock starts, it's another nine minutes. Oh, okay. I get it. So that, yeah. So that's a real cool ball that, you know, I use, I have in what I call my night chipper game. Yeah. Which basically I have, uh, some sticks you put in the ground that, um, indicate the flag stick. And I got some LED rings that you turn on and they blinky blink. And then some sticks that you can highlight, you know, what direction or if you want to highlight um, uh, hazards. These sticks that I have are seven color LED. So oh, okay. you can just turn them, par- you know, purple for the party feel or red. Let me highlight a hazard or whatever you want to do. And on the site, I put recommended setup. But really, it's all you know. It's it's all. Let's set something up in the fun, in the backyard. Have some fun because it's tough to go anywhere, and yeah, uh, and the kids could whack a ball around. Um, then I have like for my events, I have what's called a tracer ball, where I do a driving range event, and you whack it, and it lights up for about four seconds. Nice. Um, and the ball that I use for a tournament is called Light for Night. This ball was developed by a guy named Corky Newcomb, who invented night golf. And night golf was <laughs> I love invented. That name. <laughs> oh, he's, and I'm telling you, he is the nutty professor. Oh my God, dude. he is. He is the nutty professor. He's just way out there. Um, uh, he, him and I are working together. Well, right now, again, he's the vendor, and uh, but none of these people know how to sell shit. Oh. I've noticed that in fact. <laughs> I've noticed that in backyard games, it's a fragmented niche industry that nobody's doing really well, yeah. you know. Um, and uh, so, so that's the other thing I see as a as an opportunity. But um, yeah, so anyways, the other ball, Corky, Corky invented the the game of night golf by drilling a hole in a golf ball and putting a little glow stick. That's how it's done. Uh, okay. And I've got all these balls on my website. If you go to fourglowgolf.com uh, under services, there's you know you can see uh, the different balls nice. that are available. I'll have those links um, in the show notes. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, yeah. So so now as it, as the game has evolved since the mid '80s with Corky in particular, is every a lot of people went to these LED balls because they're cool. You hit them, they light up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. But to play golf with it is a little bit, it's, you want it to be short. So I use those for games, for the putting, for chipping, for clothes. For the tournament, like the, the one that I'm booking with this country club in Boca Raton, we're setting up five holes of golf 
uh, that are full holes of golf, uh, 290, 305. We got a part three at 140. Okay. So I'm using the light for night balls, which are real golf balls. The only difference is the outer three layers are formulated with the phosphors that react to light. <laughs> oh, so okay. it hits like a golf ball, but because it's the, the most well-known look of it is glow in the dark. Because it has that glow-in-the-dark coating, first of all, it's always a little bit lit. But if you hit it with a flashlight, it supercharges it. And what Corky and I have done has developed what we're calling a supercharger for events where I can light up 300 balls at once for a driving range event, a closest to the pin competition, a burgers and beer night or whatever. And they look so cool when they lit up. And they hit... And they hit like a golf ball. So, you know, if you're a golfer and you can knock down a 300-yard drive, you can hit a 300-yard drive with these balls. That's um, cool. Some of these other LED balls, I do want to put alert, alert, alert. you got to be careful. You'll see crap on Amazon for balls that I'm buying for two and a quarter. They're selling for eight bucks. And if you hit them with one of your nice drivers, you could break your driver. You don't, you got to oh be real God. careful. That some is crazy. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So what I've done for for my game is I bring um, clubs. And what I did is I went to Goodwill and cleaned them out of any decent driver that they had. And then I went over to, uh, you know, the uh, Habitat for Humanity, and they had a bunch of neat irons. So I grabbed a bunch of irons so people don't have to, you know, screw around with their clubs on the game. But for the tournament at the country club, we're playing five holes of real golf with 64 real golfers. And uh, it's going to be really cool. I've got a videographer coming. Uh, really, for anybody who has any interest in uh, following this, uh, this adventure I'm on, uh, take a look at uh, the footage that's going to come out of the October 29th event here in Boca Raton. That is awesome, man. You have a lot going on, but it sounds like you have it all dialed together and for entrepreneurs, you know, like myself, you can kind of bog yourself down with having random things going on. But uh, I'm glad that you got a little bit of break and you can kind of feel everything out and have a clear vision of what you want to do. So, all right, guys, I hope you're enjoying the show so far. We'll be right back after this short break. Hey, have you guys heard of the game called Cubacle? Oh my God, this game literally incorporates so many yard games. I'm talking bocce, horseshoes, cornhole, and much, much more. Created by the company called Mozart Games. They also have another game called Ace Hole. If you like cornhole and golf, you can play up to 12 people with this game. Well, these games are essential to your backyard. So use promo code MOBUN, that's M-O, F-U-N, Mo Fun, and receive 10% off your first purchase of one of these games. Links are in the show notes. Check it out. Get some fun in your life. All right, so welcome back. Let's get back into this chat. That is awesome, man. You have a lot going on, but it sounds like you have it all dialed together and For entrepreneurs, you know, like myself, you can kind of bog yourself down with having random things going on. But uh, I'm glad that you got a little bit of break and you can kind of feel everything out and have a clear vision of what you want to do. So congrats again on everything that's coming for you. It's funny how revenue does that. (laughs) (laughs) You know, all of a sudden somebody believes in you. They see your vision. All the work you did on the website. And I got to tell you something (laughs) else is I'm, uh, I'm a 60-year-old guy down here in Boca Raton. I've worked 40 years. This is like, you know, next phase. This is, yeah. this is, my, <laughs> this is my retirement plan. <laughs> you know, I'm going, I'm all in. I'm all 401k. I'm all yes. in on this thing. Um, but the coolest thing that I've learned is with the millennial age group, uh, as I sell to them, and again, I'm a 60-year-old guy. I've been selling to a lot of people for a long time in, in an industry that's the boys' industry. You meet, you have drinks, you schmooze, you poop, poop, poop. What I'm finding about your generation, you guys are so, so smart and so tuned into the messaging that this guy booked me just based on, 
you know, the web, the uh, reputation, a couple of phone calls. Uh, it's not like old school where I, uh, you have to meet with them. You got to yeah. snooze. You got to put a, you got to put on a dog and pose. I called the pro and said, okay, let's meet. Uh, can we book an hour? I want to show. He's like, what? I don't need, to, what? I don't need to meet for an hour. He said, what are you doing? We're done. You're good. Just let's get the logistics uh, down. Yeah. And I was blown away. You know, I was blown away. I've but, had deals uh, work out for me like that as well. I mean, you just gotta, you know, your Instagram could be like your resume and everything. And, um, it really yeah. is. That's the difference with, with the new way of doing business, especially I think in the, in the day of COVID, you don't want to have a bunch of close. Oh meetings my God. With yeah. It's been even better <laughs> you know? now. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, uh, so that was really interesting. And, and now because of this credibility and booking an event with a very high end country club, all of a sudden, as I start calling vendors, everybody are real interesting. I, I got to tell you about this one. Yeah. One of the things that I sell, and again, I started in this, in this game in the eco-friendly golf business. Okay. So 10 years ago, when I started this, I was at some event or some show and met this guy, Albert. Uh, Buccellini, I forget his last name. Uh, he's an <laughs> Italian guy. He lives in Italy. Yeah. He developed a bio eco ball that is completely biodegradable. That's the one that goes into the and water it, that you see everybody yeah. get into the water? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I know what you're talking about. Okay. All right. So it's called the Alpus Albus Eco Ball. And I bought it and I've used it. And actually, one of the things on my store is I have for 350 bucks a driving mat, 25 eco balls, and a hybrid club for people to just hit off of anywhere at the boats. If you just want yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can just hit it, okay? Nice. But there's this group up in Maryland. They're called Splash City Golf. And they're these entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, that developed a target that, there were, that they um, – collaborated with a boat company so this target has a little boat motor and a gps yeah. like a boat uh-huh so you go on an app and you drive the boat to wherever put the gps coordinates in and the target stays and you hit eco balls out to the target so you could have freestanding splash golf events anywhere on any waterfront which i'm going to be adding into my repertoire in November, as soon as I move and get all I will set have up. to take a look so, at that. That sounds awesome. Oh, it's so cool. And actually, when I called the guy and said, hey, have you ever thought about uh, leasing or selling the targets? He's like, no, I never thought about it. Well, here's my idea. Uh-huh. I'm in Florida. Nice. Is there any better market than Florida? Yeah, ba ba ba. Two days later, he sends me a brochure on his website. If you want to rent or lease targets, <laughs> just click here. Always selling. I like it. <laughs> Always selling. It's awesome. It's awesome. So, and then for the backyard group, um, I've created a micro event. So, you know, if you're having a party for nine ninety nine, me and a, and a guy will come and set up games and putting thing and lights. And uh, we do little micro. I, I have this micro event that I'm uh, nice. marketing. Nice. You're gonna have so. to send me some um, pictures and stuff of the event, and um, I'll be able to post them up and everything. But I just want to see your setup and everything and post them because that looks well. Like, it seems uh, like it'll be pretty cool. I got a yeah. The the new the new assets will be ridiculous. But take a look at my website. I yeah, got a lot yeah. of photos. I'll do that. Uh, Take a look at my YouTube. Uh, I got I got some YouTube, some fun YouTube stuff. I got an Instagram. So um, nice, yeah, nice. we're uh, we're le- we're legit. We're legit. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Um, so uh, you've been working a lot, and uh, I see things are coming together for you. But like looking back on everything that you've done up to this point. Uh, What's one thing that you might have done like a little bit differently when creating everything? Um, the first thing is I would have solidified a better partnership <clears throat> with a golf course. The whole prototyping process was painful with the municipal golf course I was working with. Oh, um, and, and, and the problem was they were great guys. And the, and the head guy, the head pro for the Muni course, um, actually did some cheesy night golf events. <laughs> so he was really into 
my whole concept of a cool night golf event. Yeah. But they're, you know, they're hourly people. They're worried about budget. It was, I had to, you know, so that was very painful, very painful. I would have stepped back, made sure that I had a better partnership, um, to begin with. And then the other thing that I've learned uh, as an entrepreneur that I mean, I'm sure other entrepreneurs are going to laugh um, is patience because my God, nobody moves at the speed I want to move. Uh, yes. uh, nobody get, nobody cares about you. <laughs> no, <laughs> so, <they don't. laughs> you know, they don't. So you got to re- keep remembering it's not about you, but my God, if uh, people move slow and, and don't, and it just, I had vendors I had to ask four times for pricing. It's, you know, oh I want yeah. to buy from you. What is my wholesale price? <laughs> yes. and so, yeah. So that's, uh, I, I would have gone in with more patience. And um, and then I might have put a, a worldwide pandemic in my business. I don't know. <laughs> I know, I, right? <laughs> you know, that, that uh, left, the, that's kind of leaving a mark in 2020 yeah. when, you know, when I was going for the loan, trying to, you know, what are some yeah. of the concerns and issues? Yeah, worldwide pandemic wasn't <laughs> on the list. So. Oh, man. Well, let's uh, switch gears a little bit. Um, I just have a couple okay. of random questions to ask you. Can you just give me like a short answer uh, get so sure. everybody can get to know you a little better? So uh, first question, uh, what's your favorite snack or side dish at a backyard barbecue? Um, homemade potato salad. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> got to be homemade, you know, none of this store-bought crap. It's got to be homemade, lots of celery potato salad. I like that. Uh, question two, uh, what is your favorite yard game to play? Um, I really like chip down. I have a lot of fun with that because it's a yard game. I have it in my office. <laughs> you know, I play it by myself a lot. Um, I really do like chip down. He did yeah. a nice job with that. I he hope did. he brings he it did. back. He did. I hope he brings it back. Yeah, he's not sure if he's going to uh, go for another run. Oh, um, okay. He, he is. He is sold out. I bought the remaining inventory from him. So I'm the if anybody asks about chip down, I'm the only guy that has it right now. Uh, <laughs> he's he's out of inventory and hasn't decided whether oh, he wants to do man. another production well, well, But and what a cool game! Maybe the we'll band together and uh and save them. You know, <laughs> keep it alive. You know, I gotta be on. I gotta be honest with you. His uh, the challenge, and I'm sure again, listeners who are in the uh, uh, game business or dealing with Chinese manufacturing and. I could tell you, being in distribution, especially consumer electronics, I've dealt with that with vendors, so I I, I get it. Yeah. But there's got to be at least a, a, a U.S. domestic way to stamp out that plastic because it's it's really it's not that difficult to design and it's so simple <laughs> and and then with the birdies, it's yeah. just it's really cool. I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure, we can figure it out. Um, All right, let's put it on the list. Yeah, put, <laughs> add it to the list. Add it to the list. <laughs> add it to the list. <laughs> All right. Uh, question three: um, Who makes your professional golf foursome? Ooh, dream the dream. Yep, the dream team. Yeah, the dream team. Well, it's Tiger, of uh, course, of course. Phil, uh, and it's Rory. I think Tiger, Phil, and Rory. Yeah, that that would just be fun. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, last question. Um, What's the most interesting place you've traveled? Interesting place I've, I've I you know in my working career uh, I was very fortunate um to do a lot of business travel. I'd say uh the most interesting place was probably Monte Carlo. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Nice. That was pretty cool. That, um It's a random one. I haven't I haven't heard about Monte Carlo in a while. <laughs> yeah, that was, you know, that was back in the Circuit City days. The manager, the managers used to go on these very exotic workshops. Okay. Uh, the big rah rah. I mean, that was a lot of people only know Circuit City on its demise yeah. in the nineties. I'm talking about we owned the industry <clears throat> at one point, and uh, yeah, we went to Monte Carlo, we went to Hawaii, um, Puerto Rico. St. Thomas, I mean, we had some 
great trip. That is awesome, man. Um, man, I am so excited and glad that everything's happening for you. And I definitely want to work with you some more and collaborate with you Good. on some things. So I'm glad uh, we're friends now. We can get some things happening. I just said, well, listen, I'm, I'm just learning the industry. Again, I came out of the CE business. Um, you know, I'm kind of the fun event lighting guy. Um, <laughs> so, there's so many cool, uh, backyard games. If anybody's interested in working with me as a niche distributor, um, I'd be happy to work with them. I'll put a lighting package together. Um, you know, I've been in, I've been in hardcore retail, so I understand, I ain't going to mess with anybody's market or pricing or, you. you know, all that stuff. Um, I'm a clean guy because it's all about relationships. Um, and it's all about, uh, you know, building partnerships together. And, and we're in the, you know, my, my philosophy is real simple, especially now we ain't curing COVID. We're just in the game business. So we can't take this shit too seriously. Yeah, I hear just that. have fun <laughs> and, and let's, Let's make some money and uh, and get people happy. That's all. Yes, yes. I will link all your information down in the show notes. But you might nice. have already just said it. So last question here. Uh, as a yard game entrepreneur, like what is your mantra or quote that's uh, getting you inspired and get up and, uh, you know, get business done every single day? Um, exactly that is um, when I when I look at my business plan, <clears throat> from 10 years ago when I started for green golf in Arizona, I pulled it out as I started doing this again and it, and everything is relevant. It's all about positivity. It's all about, you know, uh, patience. It's all about staying focused. Um, but the, but the big headline on that was if you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. Yes. And, and that's really kind of my, I, and I, I can't always live by that when you got some asshole boss, <laughs> screaming down at you, but you got to pay your mortgage. I wasn't always, you know, having fun, but now I have the ability to do that again. And I'm living by that. If I'm, if I'm not having fun, uh, then I'm doing something wrong. Or if I'm getting a lot of pushback on whatever I'm doing, then I shouldn't be doing that. Put that aside, move to the next thing. And that's really my mantra because there's so many next things to do that if something's yes. giving you a hard time, just go to the next thing and go back to it. And it's yep. amazing how when you go back to it, you go, oh, that's all. Bing, bang, bing. It's done. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. We ain't curing COVID. <laughs> and if you ain't having fun, you're doing it wrong. There's yes. there's Bobby White's philosophy. <laughs> <of the day. laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, man, uh, that, was, uh, that was a lot of information there. I, I'm i going to have fun going back and dissecting all of this. But uh, it's, okay. it's nice talking with you. And um, Great. Yeah, we should chat again soon. Well, obviously, first of all, I'd love to see what you come up with here and utilize this as an asset to post and say, you know, here's my story. Um, so let me know how to do that and yeah, stay in touch. Do. And let's work together and uh, have some fun. Will do, man. I'll talk to you later. All right, Calvin. Be safe. All right, bye. Bye-bye. That was Bobby Weig's owner and creator of Four Golf. And as you heard from himself, he is lighting up everything. So links are in the show notes. Contact him. If you have some ideas, he may be able to help you light up your game. And that's probably one of my biggest pet peeves in the yard game industry. Is more things need to be lit up for the nighttime. I mean, playing games at night. It's awesome. <laughs> so let's, let's get on it, guys. Let's band together. Light up these games. I have more fun stuff, more cool chats coming up for you guys. Um, if you guys have any cool like playlists you want me to put together for you, feel free to reach out. I'll make something directly just for you for your party. And um, yeah, if you guys also have anybody you think I should be interviewing, hit me up as well. And lastly, I have just launched the Oddcast. Link will be in the show notes, but um, go check it out oddballsports.tv I'm the host of the oddcast as well we're doing some different things on the podcast scene over there some more fun stuff I'm probably going to get some of the same people that I've interviewed before ask them some different questions and things like that so check it out 
oddballsports.tv. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.